Good morning, Pastor Rob. Happy Tuesday morning. I hope everybody's doing good. It's time for coffee with Rob. Get it hot. Let's start sipping and talking. You ever uh, go to a family reunion uh, and just sit down and talk to like your old uncle or your grandpa and uh, have a good storyteller? They tell you about all the things they've done, everything they did in the past. The stories are great. Um, I think about my cousin, Mike, he's a great storyteller. If he's, if he's telling a story, you want to hear it. He has great detail and he's hilarious. He's in, um, you like to sit around and, and hear those stories at family events. But when I had my heart attack in May, I really started to think about the things I had done. I mean, you think about your, uh, your sins, you think about your past, you think about the things maybe you accomplished. Uh, and when you, when you have those family members that you, that tell those stories from the past, Unfortunately, and I'm not knocking stories, these stories are great, I love it, and they have accomplished a lot of things, but um, sometimes that's where we remain. We live in the past and we stay in the past. And as I was laying in the hospital, I started thinking, I gotta dream forward. I can't sit here and just think about the past. 30 years ago, I was an Army Ranger, second Ranger Battalion, uh, third bat for a little bit, but literally, I was in great shape, I was ready to go, I served with some phenomenal people, uh, but I, I can't do that anymore. My head and my heart, I'm still that person, but my body says otherwise. Probably wouldn't last an hour in a PT session. So it's the same thing with your spiritual walk. So many of us dwell on the past. We, the, body, uh, the Bible says that we should present our bodies a holy living sacrifice. And, and we do that, and we come to the cross, and we pray for forgiveness, and we ask for forgiveness. Like, God, here's our sins, but we stay there. We don't get up and move on. We stay at the cross and we keep groveling in the past. And I just wanted to encourage you today because I hear this all the time. God can't love me. You don't know what I've done. Well, if you've confessed it, neither does God. If you come to the cross and you ask for forgiveness for your sins at the cross, the Bible is very clear that your past is gone. In 2 Corinthians 5, 17, you're a new creation in Christ Jesus. As a matter of fact, if you brought up the past or a sin you have confessed before God, uh, he would say, I don't even know what you're talking about. It's gone. And that you, I'm going to give you the scriptures for it. In Isaiah 40, uh, it says here in Isaiah 43, 18, forget the former things. Do not dwell on the past. I'm doing a new thing. That's what God says. That's what we should be saying. I love the stories of the past, but I don't want to be the person of the past. I'm a new creature in Christ Jesus, and you shouldn't either. Remember, at the cross, we, we leave our troubles, we leave our sins, we leave our past. It's time to live beyond the cross. Uh, all those things are a part of who we are. All of those things in our memory are things we don't want to do again, perhaps, or perhaps we really enjoy our memories. That I enjoyed and loved being a ranger. I enjoyed being assigned to a special forces unit in the military, but I literally am not that person any longer. I'm an old man. I'm 55. I had a heart attack and it's, it's rough, but it's the same thing with your sin. Forget about your sin. It's in the past. You are no longer that sinner. You are a new creature in Christ Jesus. It's time to live beyond the cross. And the reason I say that beyond the cross is because beyond the cross, you're living in victory. Before the cross, you're asking for forgiveness. Once you have asked for forgiveness and become that new creature, you're beyond the cross. What does Jesus say in Luke 9? Take up your cross and follow me. It's, you're going forward. You're not standing at the cross going, oh God, forgive me my past. Forgive me, forgive me, forgive me. It's over. He's going. To, we already discussed that. We already paid for that. I've already redeemed you. I've already placed an, a new robe on you of righteousness. I put my son's righteousness on you. Come on. Live forward, dream forward, live in victory. If you're beyond the cross and carrying your cross, you're living in victory and following Jesus Christ. Old things have passed away, all things have become new. I, Isaiah 43, verse 25, quote these scriptures. Don't let the devil keep this stuff in your head. Isaiah 43, 20, I, even I, am he who blots your transgressions for my own sake. He don't want to remember your sins either, so you shouldn't either. Uh, your transgression for my own sake, and remembers your sin no more. Isaiah 44, 22, I have swept away your offenses like a cloud. Your sins like the morning mist return to me, for I have redeemed you. You're a new creation. You're brand new. Get up. Get up from before the cross. Get up out of your past. Forget about it. You're no longer those things. You are a new person. 
you're no longer 19. You're 49 or 29 or 39 or maybe 60 or 79, but you can live in victory in Christ Jesus. The things you did, part of who you are. We learn uh, from the past. We are built on the foundations of our past. But when we go forward, we're brand new and living in victory. So my encouragement today is dream forward. Put the past behind you. God himself has done that. He said, take up your cross, not stand before the cross. And when you live beyond the cross, understanding and realizing that your past is gone forever. He will never bring it up because if he did, if God brought up a sin or brought up your past, it would be the equivalent of him saying the blood of my son wasn't good enough. Therefore, we need to deal with this later. But because of the cross, because of the blood of Christ, because of what Jesus did, your sins are covered and gone forever, never to be remembered again. And we remember them, so we don't do them again. But if we bring them up to God, he says, sorry, I don't know what you're talking about. You're brand new. You're my child. You're holy. You're uh, as righteous as my son. I don't even know why you're bringing this up. So forget the past. They're great stories, but they're in the past. Let's dream forward. Let's live forward. Let's grab the cross and start walking uh, towards heaven. That's where we're going to end up. Let's start following Jesus Christ and living in victory because the sin is gone. Your past is gone. You're brand new in Christ Jesus. Let's live in victory. Have a great day.